In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine photographs to create a piece of art inside of Photoshop. I'm also going to give you some great tips to get around some of the common problems that you may have while doing this. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I'm going to show you how to combine photographs to create a piece of art. So right now we're going to take this picture of the woman with the chalk and we're going to drop her into this city scene to create a cool composite. Now I grabbed both of these photos from Adobe Stock. Okay, so what we need to do is combine the photos first of all. So in order to do that, we click, we hold, we drag into the tab of the image we're going into don't release yet go out into the middle of the photo and release and now you've put both of the photos into one document you can see them on two layers this photo is too big we need to resize it keyboard shortcut command t and that's control t on windows for free transform Notice we can't see all the boundaries there. So what we need to do is we want to see the handles. Control Command Zero. Now we just want to click and drag in the corner to resize this. If we hold down the Alt or the Option key, we can do it from the middle. And we want to fit the photo within here. Okay, let's fill it again. Control Command Zero. Now we want to cut out the background. Here's a really cool thing. We can do this with layer blending modes. So all we need to do is go up here, change the layer blending mode to lighten. And notice all the black disappears, but so does some of our object here. So we're gonna fix that. First of all, let's position it. So let's just click and drag into position. And I'm thinking about here is gonna look good. So what do we do for this stuff that's transparent? Well, it's actually really easy. All we need to do is paint behind it. But before we do that, why don't we make a selection to help ourselves do that? So now we know what we wanna do. Let's put this back into the normal blend mode. And I'm gonna make a selection because you know what? I'm good with the brush tool, but I don't wanna waste a lot of time doing, you know, all of this perfectly when we can just make a selection to help us. Grab the quick select tool and then just click and drag around the body here. That's a good enough selection. Okay, what we wanna do now is we're gonna go back to our blend mode, back to lighten, now that we've created our selection. And here's the trick. What we're gonna do is create a new layer underneath this layer. So just hit the Control or Command key and click on the new layer. Now the Command or Control, what that did is it puts the layer underneath instead of on top. If you create it on top, no big deal, just drag it down. Now we wanna paint with black. So let's grab a brush by hitting the B key. Make sure the foreground color is set to black. Opacity is all the way up to 100. Now all we need to do now is just paint in the layer underneath with black. And notice it brings back those areas that were getting faded. And let's just go all the way up there. And hit Control D to turn off the selection. And you can see that we're able to paint that black in there to bring this back. All right, we're almost there. What about this stuff here? See how it cut off? We could fade it, or what we could do is we could actually grab some of this and clone it in. Let me show you how to do that. And we can do that with the clone stamp, and I'll show you some options to make that super easy. So we're gonna grab our clone stamp tool. Make sure we're only doing the current layer. We don't wanna be doing current layer or below. We only wanna sample this. Now, if we go over this area and we hold down the Alt or the Option key, we can click and notice that that creates that sample now. And we're gonna put it over here but it's going the wrong way. Well, this is how we fix that. Let's go up under the window and we're gonna open up our clone source. And here's our clone source panel. And what we wanna do is click on there and that's gonna flip it, see that? And the other thing we need to do is rotate it a little bit. So we just click and drag and we're rotating. You can see the overlay there, what that's gonna look like. And let's rotate it a little bit more. And all we need to do now is just click to apply that sample. And notice now we've got a nice finishing to it instead of that hard edge. One thing I might wanna do a little bit here is just touch up the color. 
because I'm noticing here it's a lot cooler than the background. So let's grab the background and we're gonna create an adjustment layer. Let's just go to our color balance. And with our color balance, what we wanna do is we wanna do our yellows to blues. Let's push that more towards the blues and see how that background now is starting to match a little bit more. Let's, let's change the cyans to reds a little bit. And maybe give that a little touch in that direction to the greens. Okay, let's give it a final once over. We're gonna select all the layers by click, hold down shift and select all the layers. What we're gonna do is hold down control alt shift and that would be command option shift on Mac and then hit E for merge E. And then what that does is it just creates a layer right on top. Let's take that into camera raw. And now we can give it a little tweaking. And let's put a little vignette around the whole thing. Click OK. All right, so I've got a question for you guys. What version of Photoshop did you start on? Let me know in the comments underneath. And if you like these kind of tutorials and you'd like more, just hit that subscribe button right now. You'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. Make sure you hit that little notification bell so you know whenever I upload. And by the way, if you like this video, smash that like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. <laughs>